Hi, in this video, we'll look into BERT score metric, which is about evaluating text generation system with BERT. Let's take an example of text summarization system where the task is to summarize this book by passing it through the GPT-2 model. And let's say the model says, this is how I have summarized. But the ground truth was, this is how it should have been summarized. Then how do you know the quality of the summary that you have generated? Existing systems such as Rouge and Blue totally depend on the syntactic overlap between what you have generated and what should have been generated, wherein it tries to have most of its coverage by incorporating unigram, bigram, trigrams, and the longest common subsequence. Introducing birth score, where the idea is to kind of understand the meaning of what you have generated and what was supposed to be generated and then compare your generation against the ground truth. So here we have a reference X and the candidate X bar which we pass through the pre-trained BERT model that is supposed to generate a contextual embedding for each of the words at the output end. And once we have the final embeddings for each of these words, we do a n-square computation by calculating similarity for each of the words from reference to each of the words in the candidate set. So this is how the similarity matrix would look like. To which now we sum the maximum similarity for each of the word from reference to the candidate and then normalize it, which we call as recall. And the similar stuff was done from the candidate to the reference context by normalizing by the total number of words that we have in candidate, we call it as precision. And accordingly, we can have F score, which is harmonic mean of precision and recall. Authors in this paper also introduce the notion of weights for each of the word calculation that you're doing, where they stick with the idea of weights, which they derive based on large amount of offline text data that's openly available which follows a basic intuition saying if you have a very high idea of weight for any given word, then this is not a very common word that is used across multiple documents. So it might be something really worth for you to compare it against while doing the similarity calculation. So yeah, that's it for this shot. Thank you very much and subscribe to the channel.